were here telling people that their pH balances were off and then went to Petty Rose Live. That's why I said it just the way that I said it. Mm -hmm. um, pick up what I'm putting down. Pick up what I'm putting down. So pick she thought that Kappa and Petty was going to have her back because Petty was kind of upset about the question and it kind of backfired on her. Mm, that sound like the same oh. thing that was with Poozie today oh. when she okay. took it over to the morning show. All I'm going to say, all I'm going to say is that she came over here and made a statement yeah, Jim, and on. then ran over know. there to Petty Rose Drive. That's all I'm going to say. And play like she was a victim. Oh, and the roaches. I forgot about the roaches. Oh, totally okay. forgot about the roaches. Okay. That's what happened. Who said I'm something someone... about a roach? I, I believe um, Sister um, Sister Zamaya did. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong down here in these comments. So she didn't go over there and let them know that she was saying all of this before she she spoke about what happened to her. Mm. She didn't give a reason I'm to why she was. I would never talk about my mama. Mm. And like she trash. Because then that means she had trash. Why would I think? Why I love saying the rich word, 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 the rich word, word. She's saying the rich word, So did I miss the whole exchange over here? I guess I'm trying to understand what the big deal is. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and 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 um because you know I've been watching the comments um today it's it's. I don't know why. I've just really been watching the comments today. Um, you know when Zamaya came up and she gave her those those words of encouragement, <laughs> she was letting us know that, you know, Petty made a statement about not being on anyone's platform that has Heartbreaker on there. Right. Um, and then she was paid, uh, Peach was paid to drop her. Before right. Peach even made that statement, she had already dropped. Am I wrong? Am I right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Thank but you so much. She, I really appreciate that. She had sent, she had sent, uh, the person had sent the fines to drop her. Uh -huh. And I, I was preoccupied, but by the mm -hmm. time I seen it, she had dropped, and I told her she could not come back unless she came mm -hmm. on, on back up age. Absolutely. You know, that's Jimmy. the drop policy. See, that's the drop right, policy. Right, right, right. But listen to what you just said. That's indicating after she had already dropped. So that information was seen and given after Mom. she already made her drop, right? Mm hmm Okay. She jumped down in these comments and um, she began to ask questions. She said, how much is it to drop? Um, they answered her and mm -hmm. she began to tell people that their pH balances were off, mm -hmm. not indicating that hers may be off and she just doesn't know it, you know? <laughs> she began to um, <laughs> speak ill about the YT people, even though she is partially white to herself mm -hmm. and also began to use the rich word um assuming that she's speaking about um the african-american people <laughs> um, so but then shortly afterwards you know because you know again i was watching those comments i may not say anything <laughs> definitely watching i have on my eyes today uh -huh. I'm gonna call you right she back. left and then she went over to Petty Rose Live. And now in Petty Rose Live, she's in an argument with Kampa because someone called her a YT. But you're over here in this live calling people riches. Wow. What All of that was going on in the comments. Is the Rudge comment is unnecessary. What is a Rudge? What is that? The Rudge. The Rudge. The Rudge comment is unnecessary, baby. The same, the same thing that um that that Poozie called you um Aries. Yeah, I, I, you know, I just, well, you know, but Poozie put some respect on my name. She put she gave me wings. No, I, let me just tell you. Uh, 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 uh. There let me, it is. Let me there just tell you, Aries. Aries, mm -hmm. I am very terrified of those types. I'm terrified of all bugs, but that flying one, Georgia, has really given me all forms of PTSD mm -hmm. when it comes to them black flying cockroaches. Mm -hmm. I. That's what they are, cockroaches. Yeah, um, like like you. I'm the type. Like so, I'm right. the type of roach. You could be sleep having a nice night it's all cool in your bed oh, oh and i'm just that roast that'll just jump on your face 
feel and just nah. get them moving. Oh, no. And then it's, you have it, to jump up and oh, slap them Oh, you're the nagging type of rut. Yeah, I don't like that one. Um, that is what she called um the people with the um pH balance. Ooh, she said roaches, move, baby, the roaches with the low play. pH I'm balance. of them. Yeah, I have a question. What's yeah. this? We may have an answer. Okay. She popped on the um was I was looking at the comments. Now in the comments she asked how much was it to drop somebody, right? Mm-hmm. I and some others said twenty five. I even went further and said twenty five and fifty for the mods. She hops mm-hmm. in the panel. She says petty roll, whatnot, blase, blase. Now what I'm confused about is what was her it is not even confused it seems like she plotted this for whatever reason because it was unnecessary and and i do have to agree that she plotted this and i only i think she paid the 25 dollars because she pops on the panel and then previously she asked how much it was i don't i don't know i don't know it's just the whole thing is odd I well no it. no well not previously oh um, it was after right she asked, yes 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 mm-hmm. it was after right okay, yes okay. ma'am it was it now it was after but that does not mean she wasn't playing slow dumb ninja fish yeah i still think i still think that she paid for it and then after mm-hmm. she was dropped she asked how much it was to make it seem like oh you know how much how much is it to drop people because she she has been over here before and mm-hmm. then it was just the the just how she just hopped in the box and just what she was just talking about it was just random it was like okay and then to see her over in petty's live and kappa cuss on um, cuss of her ass out it just seems like you just did all this shit and it backfired Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. because in uh, thank you, Mariah, because she did go mm-hmm. ahead and, and and type that comment that was made. She said roaches with but, low pHs. But she was talking about Balance. this is why I'm saying she plot all this shit because she paid. I believe she paid the twenty five dollars. Um, mm-hmm. she dropped or whatever it was. And then she was in the comments talking mad shit, but she was just using that or whatever to make it seem like she didn't know who, um, like it wasn't her who dropped, you know, who paid for that drop. I don't know. It's just giving mm-hmm. too of much of a coincidence. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It really yeah, it's okay. you and Kim. So what happened? Real quick, and she was talking about the roach weekend. and the, on the pH balance or whatever to the person who dropped. Yeah, she her. said they were roaches um, with ba- with low pH balances. But now, um, so let's keep in mind there was a gap space in between the time that she um, made the statement because at first she got up and told us about what Petty Rose said, and then she dropped right, and then she yeah. came back up and then she um decided to go off um but no one knew who she was talking about yeah well Ooh. i assume she was just talking about the person who dropped her but i'm just saying the whole thing is kind of like in- interesting because based based on what she said it was like okay why would somebody pay 25 dollars to drop your ass for just saying that it was just random that part so yeah um she came up before the 25 dollars was was given and made that statement and dropped before peach let her know that somebody paid 25 dollars to drop her um so yes it is a little suspect yeah Yeah, well nikki nikki and kels have been on point lately with their suspicions Mm. um just like kels made a point the other day that Oh, I'm sorry, SJ. She said they have roaches. Oh, yeah. Otis, um, when Otis called me, hump, said I was homeless and stuff. It, I think it was a subliminal towards um, Peach. Um, but he wanted to say it like he was attacking me. And also, all of this drama, I think it is just to get the big curate, um, creators to not like Peach. Um, because the, the twist is getting turned. Like, Peach is actually talking about people. Even Let's when see. the recording was played earlier today and they heard that it was Rose music, some idiot was in the comments over there and they was like, Aries, I always starting stuff. I wasn't even nowhere when that situation happened. <laughs> but <laughs> <coughs> I do think that Poozie is upset because Peach is new. She's like, nobody knows you, you're new. 
So she's done tried to get to Diamond. They, they're trying to get to Petty Row. They're trying to get to all the beat content creators to dislike Peach. Yes. But why I don't get I don't get it I don't get why they want them to beef with me because baby oh, I don't get it. You are the new girl in the You're classroom. New. Have You're you new. ever gone? And Pussy only has like ten people in her live. <laughs> she when she's just going live and has a topic, she only can hold like 10, 15 people there. Just like speak your truth, he only has three people in the second box be his backup page. Um, you have to see like the people that has been on this app for like over one, two years, that's really actually trying to be a content creator. It's going to be a lot of hate, um, because you're the, you are the new girl, you're the new girl. And they're trying to see how does peach kid at least a hundred people in her box. Every time she goes live, yeah. her life really, actually, they can be in there just talking about nothing, just yeah. getting money for pots and pans and. She could still have 400 people in there talking about pots and pans. I mean, so <laughs> when you've been on here and you, you quit your job to be a full-time content creator, and like Kale said, you're still making 75 cents an hour because it takes you 12 hours, 15 hours to get $25, you we get kind of upset to where you would try to make everybody go against Peach. If you don't notice that everybody that we're in a small circle over here on TikTok. Everybody that is on everybody platforms, we visit them all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have niche followers over here sometimes, which you know some of the followers you lost after the you know after the firm and stuff. But <clears throat> if she makes Diamond upset with you, Diamond people are gonna stop coming over if they can expose that. Oh, they're already talking about you, Diamond. Yep, that's very Diamond true. people are going to stop coming. Nitro people um, have already probably stopped coming. Boozy people, they're not going to come. Um, Petty Row people, not going to come anymore. They're going to start attacking you so that you can only have like 30, 40 people in your life because everybody rides with their best content creator. So. Yeah, but the thing is, though, is that the more the see when you deal with some when you deal with two people that are problematic that are going at it it's looked at a little bit different but when you have a content creator that is not problematic at all they hold an unbiased space everybody over here is welcome and you're picking on them and they are a target you look like a bully you look like a jealous bully so a lot of times i've noticed that some of those people they act like they don't come over here but they're over here they're over here yes and let me tell you that's the thing i'm not the type of host that feels like just because you're in my space you can't go to anyone else's space and i've always told y'all this um and just because you're subscribed over here you shouldn't be subscribed anywhere else because i truly believe that what god has for me it is for me yeah. You see what I'm saying? And people are grown. You cannot dictate where people go or where they spend their money at uh -huh. or anything of that nature. And mm -hmm. I think that it's causing a problem because I don't have a gang-like mentality. Yeah. Like, oh, you don't need to be over there. Why are you over there in their space? I don't give a damn. Y'all grown. Uh -huh. But what Pooza was trying to do yesterday with you... And that's why I, I don't know why they kept asking me, do I eat crayons? First of all, I brought that to the app. And I'm so tired of people taking my creativity and using it against me. <laughs> but see, what some of y'all don't know, and I'm just going to put this little tidbit of information out there. What some of y'all don't know is that some of the people that support other big creators, they actually do support, but they support anonymously. Mm -hmm. Captain one two two. What? How do I know what? Because I don't like okay. you either. That's You're okay a deep rider as well. I don't like but you. But I feel either. like it's wrong to make other people feel like they have some sense of loyalty to only one creator. And if you go and support another creator, you may get confronted about it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that type of way. I don't. Because I don't feel entitled to people. Y'all don't belong to me. Peach, let me tell you something. The girl at the salon thought that I was crazy 
because I would literally give them clients. She was like, why do you do that? And I'm like, because we all can eat. Like, I can't do everything. I'm not a fucking robot. I have literally- That's my same mentality though. Yes, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Why would, who the hell want to work day in, day out, night? And uh, you know what I'm saying? From dawn until dusk. Like, no, I'm not doing it. We all can freaking eat. Mm -hmm. I don't have to make all the fucking money. Mm -hmm. Y'all can eat too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's enough to go around for all of us. And they used to be like, what the hell? Like you just giving your, listen, that's their money. That's their money that they make. They are not, my clients are not obligated to stay with me. I feel no type of way when they go and get services from someone else. I welcome them back with open arms. Now, the only time I do feel a little salty is when you come back and your hair is fucked up. And now I got to treat hair loss. This goddamn I'm not, person right here. I'm not treating hair loss for the same price. But now, you know, that's the only thing. Otherwise, you can go wherever you want to go. You can spend your money wherever you want to spend it. I don't feel no type of way. That's your money. Mm -hmm. That's and why see, another it's, thing it's, that I don't like quite understand school. is why people feel like I should feel some type of way about other people being in other people's spaces if they're just being neutral and enjoying the conversation. Now, I can see if they over there in the comments saying Peach is a fat ass, begging ass, trifling ass, trick ass bitch. Now, that's different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's different. But if you're just over there kiki and they may throw a joke or two about me or something like that, that's fine. But I don't like the flip floppers. Yes. I don't, I don't, I don't like the flip floppers. See, a lot of people don't pretty much watch and seeing that I really don't. Like, during the day, I really don't be having time to be on the app to go throughout different lives because I actually have a life outside of the app because I am a mom first before anything. I am a mom before anything. And then I'm still trying to get my shit together. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I can't watch all the commenters. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just can't. And that's why I truly believe in that if it's a snake, eventually mm -hmm. it'll come to mm -hmm. life. Baby. All right. So, Peach, this is what I know since somebody is down there bullying me. Somebody oh, I, I don't know. Never said anything about this person, but they always seem to keep me in their mouth. They even came up in my panel one day talking about something they didn't know anything about. I had to get corrected. I don't know why this person, I think this person kind of likes me on the low, but they're afraid <laughs> to just, you know, like me. Because, you know, they're afraid that the people that I don't like will say, oh, you're fake because you're laughing at Aries. Okay. But, um, because she be everywhere. She, 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 she's everywhere I'm at all the time. All the time. Even when I go live, she's there. Okay. All right. So this is what I know. Pussy, that was a hating move that she did yesterday telling that lie, saying that your Amazon list was a scam. You know how many people on this app eat crayons and will believe that? to where it would stop people from wanting to give to you yep she knew exactly what she was doing mm -hmm. because if i was new on the app and i didn't know peach just say i was just a huge posy follower and i just saw peach on my fyp page one day and i went inside posy pan i'm like oh yes just say i, I am the person that likes to give so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna give, um, I, I gave to Peach. Um, I'm so proud of her. She's giving her testimony and all this stuff. And, and Pussy like, don't give to her, it's a scam. Now, if I've been following Pussy for two years and been on her platform, who do you think I would believe? <sighs> Pussy. I would believe Pussy before I believe Peach. Somebody I just came across tonight for 10 minutes and she's up there asking for stuff. And I've been following Pussy for 10, for two or uh, 10 years of her begging. Um, but I'm gonna probably believe the content creator that I follow. Mm. It, it, you don't have to know things for a fact. It's just common sense. You could put stuff mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. You just put stuff in the what? air. The, the, the thing that really gets me is that every time she says something, I have receipts to debunk what it is that she's saying. Because Pussy, don't don't 
everybody don't think like you. For you to come up with that whole scam on your own, talking about, yeah, Kels is saying, I do your hair and your nails, girl. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to tell nobody. Nah, 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 nah. Girl, who the fuck think like that besides a, a person that's been scamming their whole motherfucking life? Ooh, baby, because when I tell you some shit don't even cross my mind. Right. As a matter of fact, Peach, when you get a chance, why don't you play that, roll, as in my girl say, roll that beautiful bean footage of when um Poozy was saying um how I should help I should have helped her since I've been watching her for two years. I got you. Oh, yeah. I got you. Let me let me find it. Let me find it. Let me yeah. find it. Since it's I still wish I would have recorded here. When your green was calling her Poochie today. That shit was so funny. That shit was so damn and then and then Diamond called her Poochie a couple times. <laughs> That was me sending messages. I sent a lot of messages. That's, that was my message when I said, can you free the broke people and take sub off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I sent the message exactly for Poozy. I was the one that said, when she said, oh, and she was talking about you yesterday too. Mm. And I think Diamond was kind of being a little petty when she read that, cause she went and sit at the table with, <laughs> with <nosy>. <laughs> <laughs> She wouldn't show how they was having a great time. My yeah. poop is on this app talking about her. That was, like, that was so funny. Today was funny, Princess. I'm so glad that you are doing what you need to do to get where you need to be. I'm so proud of you. I really truly am. But I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. That's like, I be... I, how do I say this? I talk on the phone a lot. So that's why I don't really be on here. And then I got school and, you know, trying to build some relationships. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a okay, minute. Okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm going to have to stop because I'm going to have to stop because Why is this girl screaming my name at 12.25? Hold on. I've just been noticing a lot of shade and a lot of people that's acting like they're slow on this app. <laughs> I just... Well, CJ, move your fucking face back. When people have proof that Posey started all of this mess and they're still blaming it on others. I just don't understand. And like when that lady went up there, she was just fighting for Poozy when she was snapping on Jabril, which everybody knows that Jabril is a troll. If you don't follow Jabril, y'all follow her. She is so fucking funny. Yeah, she is a troll. She is hilarious. Yes. That's why I don't take her serious. <laughs> she was trolling the police officer the other day, and she was like, yeah, you told me that you loved me and stuff, and he was just looking. <laughs> she had a little outfit on. She was like, I was dressed. I'll look looking nice for you. <laughs> she, that girl is hilarious. <clears throat> but my thing is, it's just I, I just don't understand how people can really take sides. Um, cause I'm okay, got three hundred and twenty three people's in here. I'm sorry, Iris. Go ahead and finish, baby. I'm sorry. I'll tell you when you're wrong. Cause you're wrong for doing that sub on the shit. Well, honey, I just told you next time I put it on sub to send you a sub, baby. Now, okay? so let me tell you something. If yeah. I was to go on Amazon and I was to send you a gift, and I'm in here coming one day because I'm too broke, though, to subscribe, and now I can't come in no more, but I done sent you something off the Amazon list, even if it was some tissue, I should see a baby to come in. She got a point, Pete. She got a point. She got a point. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I would be mad if I just ordered you something and I'm in the comment. I'm trying to type to you like, oh, Peach, I just ordered you something off your, off your list. And and then you just, it say can't see because it's still bound. Well, listen, let me tell you this. And I, I understand exactly where you're coming from. However, okay. <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. I would appreciate the gift that you sent, 
However, it's not going to kill you to be on sub only and not be able to comment for about five minutes. Okay. So it'd be uh, longer than five minutes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it takes them a little longer to tap. I be having to get so my pen and paper out do. so I can wait till the comments come back on and type everything. <laughs> yeah, but you know, um, this here, I am building a platform, okay? I know, I don't like it. I feel like it's bullying. <laughs> well, how is that bullying, girl? Damn, how is that bullying? <laughs> Cause it's like you you build a subscribe, but you ain't finna be able to um, put a comment in. I didn't and everybody say that. else making comments and you can't come in. Well, you better Ooh. tell your other other um fellow general population people, which I love them. I do. Thank y'all so much for coming on. I never support. subscribed. To, I subscribed to Diamond one time for one month, and then I canceled. <laughs> Not subscribed. I, I really I don't even Ooh. subscribe to Netflix. You see Cutie Pie? I'm on my mama Netflix. You know what, Cutie Pie? Hey, Cutie Pie. <laughs> Do you see that comment? Oh my God. This is not <laughs> friends with friends with attitude, Scooby Doo live. Okay, but do you see the emojis? Yes, I can't find it. I need to update my phone. I feel left out. Girl, let me Hold see on. what emoji oh, that is. Friends this is a superhero, but I don't have the purple suit. I mean, the pink superhero. Did you, Princess, did you see? Any of the re the recaps of Rose's live? No, Rose, I didn't oh my god, girl, you Rose. Have got me. Okay, F, listen. Make me be a cute so you can see. It's even funnier when you see the emojis. Yeah, Mercedes, don't be accusing me of stuff I ain't never <laughs> did before. Baby, when they dropped that emoji in the chat last night, I said, these folks, hell, boy. They is hell on wheels. What is the emoji called so I can search it? They say it's the superhero, oh, but I tried to search for the superhero, but it came up. It didn't come up in that color. Cutie pie, you full of shit. Y'all think it was dropping funny yesterday. As fuck. I'm telling you, Rose is funny as fuck. Who, where the hell she get the pink wig from? <laughs> Yeah, I remember she had the break. She had the twisted wig. Never mind. Yeah, we ain't gonna go there. Bro, they get a wig for everybody she talk about. She, baby, because she's going to play the part. She's going to play the part from beginning to end. But the thing is, is she she puts her own spin on it. She puts her own spin on it because you can't see when she started crying. When she actually started crying on point. Should have been a hundo. And then when she started giving her shout outs to the people that was in the cabinet, salute girls. I was like, oh my God, yo, she's on her rocker. When she said yeah. something about the Amazon wish list, and she called us out as the Amazon wish list scammers, <laughs> they took me out. I said, Rose, I was in the comments like, was. amen, glory, glory, <laughs> glory, glory. <laughs> She said she she was crying real tears, y'all. She said I'm I rolled over on my wig. <laughs> That's so big. Yo, she called her friendship. People was putting in the comments. I was I just couldn't comment. I just couldn't. She was putting in the co everybody was putting friends with something. She would be friends with attitude, friends with benefits. Friends, what is it? Friends with tears. Y'all can tell me Rose no favor. Friends with let's, benefits on let's... this motherfucking picture. <laughs> Friends with no attitude. Friends with no comments. It's the bonus week for right. me today, Rose. Rose, Rose it's sweet. And then she snapped on something. Somebody for talking about for real, and she went out about oh, a week. Wow. In the beginning, she kept trying to curl it, and it wasn't curling. Synthetic ass weed. That girl is hilarious. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. But Rose sent people over to Friends with No Attitude live to drop the emojis in the doggone live. Oh, my God. Why was Baby, she... I hollered. <laughs> it is funny because the people...
people be participating in her shenanigans. Yeah. So they really go over to the lives and start posting the white hearts. Yeah. What? Yo, Yo that that is hilarious. <laughs> I love me some Rose. I love me some Rose. Rose is funny as fuck, man. I'm telling you. That that, that Rose said from um, Nigelations chapter. I, I forgot what chapter it was, but Nigelations. Three, three and four. Took me out. And then how the hell is she going to take a clip? From Slim to use it as the strip show. You feel me? But she yeah, did that though. Silly. She did that though. She did. She really but did. She was very No, I'm trying to still see how the hell she really started crying on cute like that. The girl is an actress, I'm telling you. She is an actress. She, I mean, she, baby. She, but you know what though? Part of what she was saying, it was a word. Like was. she was really, she was really dropping some gems for real though. Even though she was being silly, yeah. even though she was being silly, and I'm not saying for specific people that she was saying it about, but if you really listen to her message, she was really dropping some gems, like for real, for real. You know, what I mean? yeah. yeah. Well, I will want. I do want to tell you this though, Peach, because I was spending the comments the other night. Though I don't want you to try to look at Slam a little bit different, because him and Omar got to arguing on your live, and they went. He went and did his own live. I don't think that he did that maliciously. He was just paid to be dropped, and that's like with anybody that's a huge content creator. Peach, if you get dropped from somebody, box or somebody pay drop you you're gonna be like okay well fuck it because i can get three four hundred people in my room and i can tell my truth and keep talking about it. i don't i don't you know what i'm saying i understand um i understand yeah. the um antics and stuff like that that goes along with being a host and all of that he had already been paid to be dropped you feel me so but him and omar that shit that shit went left quick and it was oh, weird yeah. what the fuck like what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? It was it, it was it was kind of weird, weird to me because both both of them really wasn't seeing eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? I can understand what Slim was coming from, then I can understand what Omar was coming. You can go to Disney's Burger King, Five Guys, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but when Slim broke it down to the specifics. You know what I'm saying? As far as like everything that I told Shell to do specifically, Friends with Attitude would implement it on her panel and also throw shade at the same time. And then to know that Friends with Attitude, Scooby Doo, um, her and Shell was actually, you know what I'm saying? They talk on the back end. So it's like, uh, baby girl, can you not come up with your own thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you don't, as a creator, right? You do not, as a live host, let me say it like that, as a live host, you do not have to shake the next host in order to garner support from other people. People are going to support you regardless. You ain't got to throw salt on nobody else to get people into your room. You just got to have a little bit of personality, a little pizzazz. You feel me? And do your own motherfucking thing. You feel me? I know a lot of people, a lot of people say, well, hey, Pete, you copied off of this person, that person, that person, this person. Okay, that's fine, baby. Whatever you feel or however you see it, it is what it is. But at the same time, have you ever heard of the saying that you may have had him, but I had him in a different way than you had him type of situation? Like, that's, that's how I see it. It's like, Everybody can be great in their own lane. And then another thing I realized when it comes to the Pusa situation, another thing that I realized when it comes to the Pusa situation is people always want to see you doing good, but never better than them. Hmm. But what they fail to realize is that if you're not a hater and you actually own your shit and handling your business, then things will fall into place for you. You get what I'm saying? Like, I still don't understand the concept on why people want me to beef so bad with Diamond. I, I still don't get it because I actually used to go and sit in Diamond. Like when I was working, when I used to work from home, I promise you, Diamond panel, um, her and her, her show, 
It used to get me through my work day when I was working from home. You see what I'm saying? Because I wasn't on the phones that much. That's so what got like, me fired. That's what got me fired. What? what? I would put them customers on hold for 10 minutes to heal up, listen to an argument. <laughs> My ACW, my ACW win. Oh, I, <laughs> I know your ACW was down. Baby, your hair was hard. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I would have fired Because it was you. a few times. It was a few times I used to get pissed off. Like, because I, I wasn't on the phones much. I only had like an hour of phone time or an hour and a half on phone time or whatever. But I used to get pissed off when that phone get the buzzing in my head. I'm like, God damn it, now I got to turn it down. What's <laughs> going on? You know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to hurry up and talk and rush them off the phone so I can, I can get back in and see what the hell going on. Because let's just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Diamond, Diamond, um, she she has a great show. Yes. She mm -hmm. has a great show. She really does. You know what I'm saying? And that's what used to help me get through my work day. And that's why I don't understand why people are trying to pretty much uh, compare us or try to bring us up against each other because she's great in her lane and what she does. And I'm new to this, so I'm building and it comes with trial and error. Hell, she an OG in this thing. I'm just getting my feet wet. Me and Barbara's just getting our feet wet right. at this point. So it's like, like I told her today, as far as us sitting up having a whole conversation about you, we don't do that. We, we have people we like the other lady that just came through here and was like, go ahead and tell the truth. You really don't like Diamond. Woo -woo. We have those type of people that try to come through and cause chaos between the two. But what y'all fail to realize is that Diamond actually come through. She'll come through and sit and listen. She is a human being just like everybody else. She want to come through and be able to enjoy other spaces without people trying to make it seem as though everybody on the fucking app is hating on her. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that, that just be her minions. And that's why when I got on Diamond Live that morning to clear up the air, because her minions kept saying, you know, Aries was dogging you out too with $2 of them. And Diamond kept saying, no, she was not. I've never heard her talk about me. And even other people on the panel was like, yes, she did. So she was like, shut a lot to Aries, shut a lot to Aries. And once I got up there, I cleared the air because I never had an issue with her. I never talked about her bad, period. Now, just because somebody else used to talk bad about her doesn't mean that I engaged in it. And Diamond knew that for sure. Yeah. Because I was I, I was still in the morning show. I never was blocked. They just didn't know I was in there because I never come in it. But Diamond knew I was, I was in there because I would send her messages. <laughs> about what was going on on her for show. Right. So they just didn't know that Diamond knew I was sitting in there and they told me, where you come from all of a sudden? Bitch, I've been here, ho. I just don't like y'all. The people that sit down in the comments that try to make shit so worse than what the hell it is. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't like to see nobody come into peace. Y'all want people to still go edit. Y'all yep. y'all just don't, y'all don't care about nobody getting along on this app. It's y'all want people to just go against somebody so bad. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. That's why I think this app is full of people who, and don't take this the wrong way to the people who were bullied in school, because you could be bullied and you can turn that shit around and not be the bully. But some people get bullied in school and become grown adult bullies. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just weird to me. But at the same time, unfortunately, we, everybody that has a palm and a phone, has a TikTok, a Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter. <laughs> this shit. Well, I ain't got Twitter because that's a little too grown for me. Oh, baby, it's off. But that was my question. My question earlier was, and it was no shade, and I wasn't trying to be rude. But if you're in here constantly, because I see you come in, I watch the door like a hawk. So when I see you come in, why ask all the questions that you did on the panel or? not know that you weren't being talked about by you specifically that was my only question like you be in here i see you Hold on. Say, say it again say it again one more time so she be in here i see her because i watched the door or whatever you want to call it i see her in here why was all the questions coming about earlier this morning towards you specifically towards you if she being here watching 
So and like, don't say she don't because I see her in here. You know, not right now, but I be seeing her in here is what I'm saying. Why couldn't she know that you was not talking about her? You feel me? Well, maybe it's because she she may not be here throughout the whole live. You see what I'm saying? She may come in, sit for a minute. You know, because people have life outside of here. And sometimes I be on to like 12, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Depends on how I feel. Mm -hmm. So as far as her knowing completely on whether or not um, we actually sit up and hold conversations about her, um, she 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 wouldn't know 100% if that's true or not because she may not be in here the whole entire time, if you get what uh, I'm saying. Su surprise. Uh, I hear you, boo. Surprise, I'm here. No, I'm talking about the Black Diamond. I know it's a couple Black Diamonds. I'm talking about the one with the morning show. You can't. I know what I'm talking because about. Because today, because today, this is what happens. Okay, so you have people like her minions, like I was saying. Like, that's why I had to tell her on her panel that day. I stopped coming over here because of your minions. So she has people that's in the platform that likes to lie. They like to give her lying bones just so that they can be acknowledged and get attention, which I feel as though is pathetic. It's pathetic as hell. But they tell lies in order to like, oh, you could trust me because look at me. I'm telling you this and I'm telling you that. So if these people have been with her since day one, she's going to automatically probably believe it. Like I was making that example earlier about the Pusa situation with the scamming stuff. Mm -hmm. So you have these minions that they read stuff incorrectly they go back and say stuff incorrectly like i'm sure tomorrow they're gonna say that we were dogging her out tonight i'm pretty sure they're gonna say they were dogging you out last night and nobody's dogging her out we're talking about her minions and i already told her that on her panel that day when i came up i don't like the people that's in your comment section they stir up mess they act like they eat crayons they act like they're slow and i don't like them that's why I stopped coming over. Well, that's why I stopped coming because I don't like when they at me. I don't even like when they say, hey, Aries. Don't even say hey to me. Like the Mariah girl. I don't even know the Mariah girl. When I was telling her the story, well, when I was telling Poozie what happened, and I was like, well, well, Petty, what happened? I was like, Petty, nobody said. One second. Becky with the mixed kids. What's up, baby? Child, it's Tasha. Tasha. Oh, come back on the background. Don't block me. You right, Tasha. <laughs> Oh, you no, this, this one of my mutuals like her trolling page because most of my mutuals they be on the bait talk but um not to interrupt what aries was saying but i was saying that i was laughing so hard and um and rose <laughs> laughed that i thought she said go in there and drop the dry rosebud emojis so when i went in there and dropped the dry rosebud emojis y'all why friends follow me I was like, oh, fuck no, bitch. And like, no, I'm not on your side. Like, why are you doing this? Like, no, I have to block her immediately. Y'all, that's not my page. Don't follow it. It's the mutuals and that. But I wanted to come in and say that because I'm like, oh, shit. Like, oh, my God, no. <laughs> that shit was what, like, I was literally in Girl, tears. Rose, they had that shit popping today. I was you literally know what I'm in she is tears. But, girl, y'all yeah, about to say, what the hell you doing? Who is you? <laughs> Child, listen, this my this my mutual page. She be trolling on this page. She be trolling like real bad. Y'all don't follow this page though. If y'all don't want to be on debate talk and go in some shit where your blood pressure gonna be high, don't follow this page. <laughs> for real. People been doing but, yeah, me like that for the um, last couple of days, huh? People been doing me like that for the last couple of days. They ain't been letting me on their panel. And I don't know how I feel yeah, about that. Yeah, um, it's probably because uh, if you go on certain panels, like a lot of people, if you you don't be on the base talk though, though, do you, Julia Bond? I'm talking about because I'm using a YT person thing now. That's they, why all my That's all different. my people they said today they say, "Who this bitch?" I said, "Oh my god." <laughs> That's why. That's why because a lot of people have. Like I've been, I only been on the app for like a year and some change, but a lot of people have let um, certain okay. YT people into their spaces and they done completely flip, flip the script on them. I mean, saying the N word, saying all mm -hmm. kind of crazy stuff. So like even on my main page, y'all know my main page, I'm real oh, skeptical shit. of letting YT people up. But I follow Stevie. Stevie, Stevie seemed like she all right. But okay. Tasha, you gotta understand that's where I came from. Before all of this, I was on I, I was over there with Gentia. I was over there with Ab. I been oh, knew who you was. I, I been knew who you was. That's what's crazy. <laughs> so bitch, you seen all the drama I was in. You seen all the drama I was in. Yeah, I seen all the drama. 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 Yeah, I
We both was in the buki, but you went first. You I, went I first. Do. Uh-uh. I, listen, this, 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 and this another thing I want to tell you, Peach. Everybody got their day on this app. It seemed like just like just like in life, people want to say TikTok not real life. Everybody got their day on this app. Where either you gonna be drug, you going people gonna call you all kind of names. You gonna fall out sometimes with the people that you closest to. Um, I done had to apologize to multiple people on here, and we just part of ways. Like it is what it is. But like everybody got their day. I done been doxxed on here twice. I done been swatted on here. I had CPS called on me. Like yeah, off of the all on the ends of the bait talk. So I don't be really in the base talk, and if I go in there, I like go in, tap the screen. If it's somebody like I fuck with, and then I leave out because it's dangerous. TikTok is not for the. I week. get it. They was threatening to call CPS on me when I first started being consistent on the app. But I, was I didn't give a damn. Like, call them. Call them the motherfuckers. I was literally like swatted on a live. Me and me and my uh, what is daughter, swatted, baby? I'm sorry. What is swatted? So swatted is when they call like the police on you and say like you you a a, a t word threat, or like they they call they've done um like they have people come to my house and do a wellness check on my baby, um like all that. So I'm on live and I'm like I'm me and um Maddie walking out the door. Everybody know my daughter name Maddie. Her name Madison. So me and Maddie walking out the door, and I'm like, "Yo, why these? Where all these goddamn police cars and shit come from?" I'm literally on live, and they like, "Tasha, turn your camera around." I turn my camera around, and everybody in the comments like, "Just go ahead and drop this. Like, just go ahead and drop." Like, I literally like they sent the police and everybody to my house, like for real. But no, like yeah, for real. You remember when I first came to your platform? You was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you got to cut that shit out, nah." You what you do, baby? I was on. I like see people head. I ain't get fuck who came here. She was. This was she was because I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not sorry. I'm not gonna apologize for this. Me personally, I don't feel like all white people are evil. No, that's, that's the whole thing, though, Peach. When you put up a background and you say YC people are inherently racist, you don't it like. I don't think that they have the in, like. They don't have the intellectual capacity to understand that you're not talking about all of them. So if somebody put up in in their background, all black people play basketball. We already know that's not true. So we like, okay, all of us don't do that. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, but when they come up in a panel, that's what I'm saying. The base talk is a whole nother level of just food. Like, I don't, I won't call it foolery, but you see white people, you see white see people like true colors and how angry they get when mm-hmm. people call them and call them out on a, on a racism. Cause all you got to do is ask them a few questions and it's going to pop. Like, and like Real it's gonna pop. Like Jency have a a whole knack for it. Ev does too. It's a it's a lot of creators on here that got a whole knack for it. They ask them like two three questions and you already see it. The n word gonna come flying out their mouth, or they gonna say like um. They gonna say some real racist shit. Where you be like, what the fuck? I know you just didn't say that. Like I know you just didn't say that. It's been so many white C people on this app that have showed their true colors. I was actually in a live, and I don't know Stevie. I mean, not Stevie. I don't know Princess if y'all was in there. I don't know Peach if any of y'all. Kale, you probably was on here then, but I don't think you know. But the white lady, like we was checking her on some shit. It was a whole panel full of us. I don't know who y'all, if y'all know who Mooney is, it was me. Yeah. And me. It was a mm-hmm. whole bunch of us up there. I even think, I even think Kay was up there, right? So we sitting up there having a conversation with her. Next thing you know, her baby say, guess what guys, my mom's a racist. Her baby is biracial. In the background? Yes. Is she, the baby say, guess what guys, my mom's a racist. When I tell you the motherfucking laugh dropped so fast. The motherfucking laugh was out of there. Like she got off that motherfucking laugh so fast. So that's what I'm saying. Like, and these was these was white people we was letting in our spaces, like debating with, letting them like um like talk to other white people, all that kind of shit. And your own baby say, guess what, guys, my mom's a racist. If I fan it, peach, I'm gonna try I to feel like because I think it's on I think it's on somebody's page on here. I think one of the llamas called it this thumb. So let me tell you this. I feel like and correct me if I'm wrong because I'm still learning when it comes to the whole um, 
I just don't like to get into that race thing too much, but and, and, and I think that's because I went to a predominantly um, YT school growing up. So I had some really good YT friends growing up. You get what I'm saying? Now, do I understand that there are still some racist YT people out here? Yes. Um, But I say all that to say this. I feel like racism is taught um, versus... I, I tell you what, I do. I'll hold a live on my page again on Banana and I'm off of work and we can have more people that's, um, I'm educated on the topic, but not as educated as some of my mutuals. Y'all are more than welcome to come in. And when they said that, um, at Petty Row Live, I don't know if y'all was listening or not, but I went over there for a second. When they said that she was using white tea tears, a lot of the times why we, why a lot of people on the bait talk and, um, phenotypically like because i don't like to say 100 percent black people say that white mothers are a detriment to their children it's because they don't teach them our heritage they don't teach them anything properly right so we i don't know if y'all know but race is based on phenotypes so you can be biracial and still look like peach you can be biracial and still look like kills so no matter what happens white society is never going to accept you so when your white mother raises you and you don't know, like you ain't sat down and had to, you know, I don't know if y'all got boys or not, but I have all brothers. I'm the only girl. My mother and uh, my dad, they went together, but has to sit down and had a, when, my, when we started driving, has to have a car talk with us. And y'all know what I mean when I say the car talk, right? When you start yeah, driving, I've, hey, I've had the, that conversation with my two boys. Um, yeah, like, hey, if the police pull you over, yeah. white team mothers feel like they can't do that. They don't have to do that. But you sending your sons and your daughters out here, and they, to society, they look black. They're not going to ever accept them as white. And that's why I was telling um, Zamaya in the comments, like, don't never say you have nothing. Because you not have anything. And the one drop rule does not apply. But like I said, um, I'm going to host a live and I'm going to invite a lot of people on there that's a little bit more educated than me. That's not my main page, y'all. Um, but like racism. So make so sure, make sure, um, invite make sure her that up. you invite me. Um, because like I said, I don't I don't feel like all white tea people are evil. I no, don't. No, I think that a lot of, I, I really, a lot of the mutuals that I debate with, they don't feel that way either. But the white tea people that are confident enough to come on a panel and speak on it if they not uncomfortable, because as soon as you say anything about race, they get in their feelings. Because a lot of people, when I tell you, you go on the base talk and they be like, why y'all still talking about race? Um, it's, it's not important. It doesn't exist in 2024. We was like, do y'all not know about the Constitution? Like, come on now, let's be real. It does. And let me tell you, because I had an encounter um, not too long ago. I want to say about a year and a half ago. Um, it's this favorite um, restaurant that me and my kids love to go and eat it, and it's called Fried Tomato. I don't know if y'all, some people are down here in the South, um, and they know what Fried Tomato is. <clears throat> uh, but one particular day, we went in there on a Saturday to eat, and um, me and my middle son were at the bar, and it was an older white team man that came through that was on on his walker now me and my son we're at the buffet and we're fixing our plates but we're following the flow of how the buffet is flowing and he's coming the opposite direction so he initially bumped into me a little bit i didn't think nothing of it but underneath his breath he told me to move my fat black ass out the way And my son heard it. And he was like, Mom, what did he just say to you? Wait, did your kids just laugh at that? I heard some laugh. Did they? No, that's, that's my, that's, I don't know why he's still up. That's my son in the bathroom. He's getting out of the shower. No. But anyways, um, because <laughs> I'm out here in the hallway where the desk area is built in it. So I'm right here by the bathroom. So um, my middle son, he heard it. He was like, Mom, what did he just say? I said, he told me to move my fat black ass out of the way. So I was like, okay, I'm going to let it fly. I'm going to let it fly. I'm not going to say nothing because I don't want to act up in nobody's establishment. So, okay, boom. We finished fixing our plates. And we, um, the server, she sits us down at a table. And he so happened to walk. The, the server 
um so happen to come and sit them like a table over over from us and i wasn't gonna say nothing to him i wasn't gonna address him at all he proceeds to tell the waitress that i was messing with him now i hadn't said nothing to him so my oldest son he's not a confrontational person at all he was like mom just leave it alone don't say nothing woo, woo, woo. and i'm like uh, uh, uh no 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 so i had to let her know i was like no i have not done anything to him if anything he told me to move my fat black ass out the way when i haven't said anything to him his best bet is to leave me the fuck alone and sit down and eat his food. So then he starts talking crap across the table. He was like, gal, you need to shut your mouth, gal. I don't know who you think you're talking to, gal. So at this point, because I, I really never experienced racism on that level before, not direct racism. You get what I'm saying? So at this point, my Blood is boiling and we in a restaurant full full of people. When I say full of people, it's a lot of people. So he was like, Gal, ain't nobody said nothing to her. Gal, you need to you need to move. You need to get up out of here and woo woo woo. So baby, I lost it. When I said why are you listening to my conversation? I knew he was listening. I I knew he was inside Lord. the conversation earlier. I, I told you. I know these kids. He acting like my son. My son would have been back there laughing at that. I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop. Like I said, when I host, a, when I do uh, finally host a live, because I do got to work this weekend, but uh, when I do host that, I'll invite all of you guys, because I, I do believe that y'all following me, or I'm following all of y'all from uh, my main page. Why, I want to say this to Jen Xing, why I don't believe that racism is taught is because anything and everything that you see on television that you read in the newspaper that you see on 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 the news or anything like that right i don't know if too many people still read newspapers but um i don't know i got a thing with having a book in my hand or having something in my hand when i read it um um it's always negative against black people like people think that black on black crime actually exists but they really don't know that it's proximity crime when you are around the people that you are around in whatever neighborhood you go around and you would you would say you a badass kid you're a badass person who who um who cars you about to break in like so from if if y'all want to see of like Netflix, it's called Stamp from Birth. Please, if y'all gonna come in my live, um, I'm off Monday. I think I'm gonna try to do a Monday. Um, y'all just, I'm, I'm so sorry that I interrupted, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop down. Um, you good, baby? Because I'm gonna be point. honest with you, I am kind of ignorant on that specific topic because, um, like I told you, I was, I went to school with YT people, and you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So, so, so. I, I do need to yeah, try to push myself understand, on, understand what you're but saying. at the same time, I, was, I still don't um, feel like all white people are bad. But go ahead, baby. So when I'm, you want to allow, let me know. Yeah, I'm from the south side of Chicago, and my mother made sure that we went to the best of schools, even though my mother was a single mother. She did what she did, like, make sure me and my brothers was okay. I went to Beasley, um which is uh i was a year above derrick rose beasley is a semi-private school that's a that was across the streets when i went there from cabrini green right but this a this a black private school right when i went to high school um yeah that's why i, I fucks with nikki so bad even though nikki don't follow me but i still love her um <laughs> um when i went to high school nobody knows like some people know here that's close to me i am a classically um trained ballet dancer i danced ballet from the age of five to now madison goes um to have ballet classes i actually get a discount on the ballet school that she goes to because i teach the three and four year olds my or my daughter not only does she dance ballet she plays the trumpet and she also just got accepted to a um competing uh national competing cheer team for next year Cause she'll be in fifth grade. She'll be in sixth grade next year. So, come through, um, I, come through, baby. Come through. Yeah, sure. Do your thing.
Baby, I just had to pay like four hundred dollars in share fees. Like it's it's crazy. Like four hundred dollars in share fees. Then her trumpet, I'm paying it off every month. That's like another hundred and some dollars. Should I be running around here like a chicken with my head cut off? Between tumbling class, gymnastics class, band practice, all this other stuff. But I just wanted to say, if y'all didn't see the documentary that I'm talking about, if you got a minute to watch it, it's called Stamp from Birth. Go ahead and watch that. Um. I, I believe that YC people have a fear of black people because of everything that the media portrays because um, a lot of um, like biracial people, I won't even say biracial people, but um, a lot of uh, white people will come up and say, well, I was raised in the hood. But that doesn't give you access to me. That doesn't mean that you're black. That doesn't mean that you can speak on black issues. That doesn't mean that, listen, I'm not doing a box braid topic because I think it's played out. I'm tired of it. I, I just feel like white people shouldn't do it. That's my own personal issue. Like, that's my own personal, um, um, like, how I feel about it. That's it. That's all. Everybody is welcome um, in my life, some of y'all. I don't know if I like y'all or not, but it's okay. Hey, Everybody hey, welcome hey. in my lab, but Mariah, because I don't like her yo ass and bitch when I get on banana. Hey, 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 oh, not too much on Joe, babe. Not too much on Joe. I'm, hey, just, hey, I'm hey, not. Please. I'm not playing it with her. I'm not. Yeah, yeah I understand. Did y'all know that? Maybe, listen, maybe, when I go there tomorrow, I'm going to let y'all know what she actually said. Damn, can I? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Before you leave, because I had a question for you. Well, nah, Blackberry, you actually came up here and cut her off. So hold on. That's What's what I was about to say. Oh, shit, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, okay so hold this, on. Let Atlanta play. Let Atlanta play. This is what Go I was ahead, saying baby. about the whole, like, exactly why I, why um racism is... um. Uh, it's this it's a system right because nobody the the media doesn't play um display asian on asian crime or white on white crime or no other race on race yeah. crime. it's only black on black crime so that further puts in people's head that look at look at so many movies that have come out that have portrayed black people as being the villain like in 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 the whole thing, Brenda. Uh, what you mean? You don't think Brenda like me? I don't even know Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Oh, how Brenda? Oh, no, 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 sure, no, no. Sure, now y'all started some stuff in the comments. We no, no, that. get out the comments, boo. Get out the comments. Yeah, you got to ignore. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, but like, um, it's called. I don't even step. know what's going on. I'm finna <laughs> come to tell Peach. I'm finna come tell Kels. Crank that bitch up. Play some music. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop. I just wanted to come up and say that you drop. for y'all of y'all, for those of y'all that don't know, it's called Stamp from Birth, and it's on Netflix. When I when I get off this page and I come back on my main page, I um put it in the comments. Don't drop yet because I got a question for you. Okay, what's your what the question is, Aries? Brenda, you know you who you know we got a love hate relationship. Oh, Aries, I Brenda, can't say it. Today, I'm like, answer you, that baby. the question because I know your birthday okay. coming up in a few so, days. Go, go ahead, on you know I can't stand you. Okay, my question is, why um why do black people call you a sellout if you see 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 that's the question that's what you should never let Aries came hey, up on mute. Well, you shut up. Wait, <laughs> no. hold, on. hold on, Brenda. Let me let finish, finish my question because question. my black card was removed. But it was provoked. Wait, they called you a sellout for what? Provoked. Revoked. Yeah, it was revoked because. <laughs> <Yeah. it> was... <laughs> <laughs> Peace, mute Aries. Why you are mad at me? Shut you up. Because you know Aries been asked all these damn questions. You, why don't you shut up? You been no, 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 no. question. Hold on, Brenda. I should want to hear her She's question. So rude. You said why unmod at you? So Lisa, it's nothing personal. Uh, 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 Okay. Okay. Like so like so like all right so why is it why why have you why have you become you know a little bit successful in life and you can afford to move your kids out of the hood why do black people say that you're a sellout because you should have stayed in the hood where the crime rate was up the roof to where you have to drop out your bed because the house is getting pew pewed at because they're trying to get the neighbors next door and you're worried about your kids because there's so much crime um inside the community and drug activity but once you try to better your life with your kids you're considered a sellout why do black okay. people don't want to see the other black person make it out the hood 
okay, Aries, that is considered um, anti-blackness because we we all want to see our people win, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and when you say I'm a I'm a respectfully, I think I blocked you on my I think I blocked one of your pages on my main page because you said something I angry with, so I just blocked you. But I'm gonna block you. Oh, you don't um, have to. You don't have to. No, nah, this page ain't blocked, but I think the other one is your main page. I think. Oh, you but I ain't gonna block you. It's anti-blackness, and it really is um like a crabs in a barrel like kind of situation where if you put crabs in a barrel, can none of them get out? If they all work together, they could all get out. But nobody wants to do that. That's why I'm telling y'all the the documentary that's on Netflix. Please go watch it. Um, and it will open your eyes to a lot of things. I've done some research on this. Um, if y'all haven't read the 1619 Project, I know it's a thick ass book. Please read it. Um, they have a kids version. I had my daughter read it. Um, she read it to me. Like it's so much anti blackness within the black community that comes that um is generational trauma that is um, perpetuated from us being stolen from our ancestors being stolen from our homeland. Oh, okay. So like, you're a crab in a barrel if you don't stay to fight. Like you, you're supposed to stay in that situation. It's, it's basically your like anti, the whole. I know I don't want to bring this up because I know how like y'all like you may feel about this, but it's basic. And even though. Um, this person may have said it wrong or whatever. It's basically like when they say Harriet say everybody can't go. So it's some it's some of some of our ancestors that would have escaped off the plantation, but when they try to tell other other of their you know their people like come on we about to go and this was how we finna go and those other people go in and they be like master such and such finna leave and they finna go master. Like it's it's kind of you know in the in the in the realm of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop and let y'all get to it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to come up and change the whole subject or topic. I'm I'm so sorry, my apologies, but I just wanted to come up and say that uh, for real because it was just it was heavy on my heart. Um, I love y'all, y'all cool as hell. Y'all, this is not my main page, so don't follow. You ain't got a gift. Um, I'm just gonna go uh and come back on my main page. Okay, y'all be good. Thank you so much for coming up. I appreciate you, love. You're Thank welcome, you. Love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Classy, them goddamn faces you be making child listen. What do? Classy, the faces you be baby. making. I, I swear you, you remind me of my 10 year old daughter because she be with the shit. She be like, bitch, what? I and I know that ain't what she said, but her face be saying that. And even me, my mama be had to, she had to be like, fix your face because I be like, bitch, don't play with me. <laughs> I haven't been delivered from my facial expressions, and I probably never will be delivered from my facial expressions because I don't want to okay. be. Okay, we good. I don't want to be. Um, but Bula, you be writing me tickets and stuff All right, because I be going off on people. Love you, boo. Love All you right. be writing me Thanks tickets for up. because I be going off on people. But you ain't right. Oh, I'm okay, about to say you better write her a ticket. She need like five of them. Oh. Class to be one to be the whole. Bullock was no one in yeah. sight. What you say, Brandon? When I needed her to write Rose a ticket today, where the hell you was at, Bullock? Yeah, where was you at? Rose, Baby, oh, y'all Bullock be tickets. over there in the real lives, over there talking about and teaching you about business and how to get their money. That what Bullock be, cause I be over there too. But anyway, Classy just want to be so whole. I wrote she Rose. Be the, she be the sweetest and be easy nothing. person on the panel. I wrote no. Rose. Why you come up here son? Brenda, Brenda, Brenda be liking people and she be at trying Brenda, to get like, your ass like to the people. comments.